All this week here, we've been featuring our series of reports on those who are making a difference. Tonight, we meet a woman who has turned the loss of two children into an attempt to save others. NBC's Tiki Barber, who we're used to seeing on the Today Show, reported this story for us tonight. It does really take a community. It's a message of hope. They're reachable, teachable, lovable, and savable. Spread by one child. mother. We've got to step it up! Who suffered the ultimate loss. There seems to be a, a sense of hopelessness, but hope is not extinct. It's been more than 20 uh, years now three, since Lenise like, Bias mouth, learned that lesson on. for herself. Bias, a ballerina in the sky. In 1986, her son, Lynn Bias, a star basketball player at the University of Maryland, had just been selected as the number two draft pick by the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics select Len Bias of the University of Maryland. The celebration was short-lived. Within 48 hours, Lynn was dead from a cocaine overdose. It started out as substance abuse, but unfortunately, tragedy kept following you. That's right. Four years later, your son Jay was murdered. Yes. Two sons lost in four years, one to drugs, the other to gun violence. When you lost two sons, you know, you think the whole world is gone. Like I said, what happened to my life? Yeah. What happened to my life? But from her grief grew a strength and a calling. Lanise gave up her job as a banker to dedicate her life to working with young people. She uses her personal story to talk to kids and parents about everything from drugs to self-esteem to peer pressure. She's able to transcend um, struggles and to say, I'm going to give back. I believe in you. This is a group of young men going through a substance abuse program in Youngstown, Ohio. The temptation is going to come over and over and over again. Lanise figures she's spoken to tens of thousands of students all across the country sharing her family's story. Most know who Lynn was, and she believes that through her, Lynn is doing more in death than he could have in life. Is he proud of what you're doing? I believe he is. I know he is. What would he say to you? Well done, Ma. Young One man, mother's purpose born life. out of tragedy. Take good care of yourself. Tiki Barber, NBC News, Fort Washington, Maryland. And that is our broadcast for this Thursday night back at home base in New York. Thank you, as always, for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We hope you can join us right back here tomorrow night. Good night.